Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 Dynasty video. And today I'm going to be going over dev traits, how they work, and how important it is to understand dev traits, put your players in the right positions, and make sure you're growing your dynasty the right way. If the video, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you have any questions. And if you haven't already, check out Underdog down below. My link will be down below in the description. Using code Poodle helps out the channel a lot. I'd greatly appreciate it if you did it. You get up to 250 on your first deposit, and of course, access to daily specials with my code. So as I've been saying in a lot of other videos, it is so important to understand the dev trait that your player has. Dev traits essentially will coordinate what your players become, right? I'm gonna go through each and every one and kind of break down how they work. But as we have normal, we have impact, we have star, and we have elite. For all you guys who have played Madden, we have a similar setup. It was normal, it was star, it was superstar and then x factor now madden it was really ability based with in combination with how quickly they grew in this game all of them can get abilities so this is strictly how they grow so this is going to play a large role in who your college player becomes right it's not Madden. you can't just play with them for like five to ten seasons eventually get them where you want they have limited time they could be drafted very quickly they could already be sophomores juniors or seniors you have a limited time to grow players in this game so you want to make sure you maximize it from year one so Freshman year being the most important, which is why I'm stressing how quickly you have to really be on top of this. So let's start with Trent Mankins, one of my recruits. So let's say he was a normal dev, right? At a 74 overall. He probably maxes his college career out in like the 80s. You cannot increase devs. A lot of people have asked us, how do I increase dev trades? Because in Madden, you can. In CFP 25, you cannot. Players are who they are going to be, right? They come into college. They're either going to be an impact, a star, elite, or just a normal dev. So let's say he was a normal dev you're probably not growing very fast. Normal dev essentially is a player just normal. They, they, they're going to be players you could start. They're going to be players who can play, but they kind of are what they are. If it's a 74 overall normal dev up to 78, they're probably finishing their career in the low to mid 80s. And that's just the fact, that's the fact of the matter, right? These are guys that I personally wouldn't overuse i wouldn't try to build them stat wise i wouldn't i would use them as like rotational piece guys guys that like on the line okay offensive guard center they can rotate in maybe they maybe he starts at center because he's a high overall these are guys that make make it onto game day but not not frequently right i would really start all of my building at impact and up so impact is the first trait that's going to start to develop you at a faster than normal rate these are guys that Honestly, impact's important. If you see a guy with impact, they're buildable. So for instance, Trent Mankins' impact is 74 overall. If you were to use him and or redshirt him or whatever it is, he could probably get into at like the 80 overall, 78 to 81 in his first off season as a freshman, probably even a little higher if you play with him. But impact's gonna be like a pretty solid jump. You're probably looking at anywhere between a few points and like seven, year one off rip with impact. Impact's a great way, in my opinion, for lower overall guys when you're recruiting like two stars and three stars guys that are like green star gem three stars or two star gem guys those are guys who could be like 62 overall and have a good season as a, you could put them as a you could put them as a retro you could use them but i'd probably redshirt them and with impact you could easily get them 15 point boost at that point you can get them up to like low 70 up to like mid 70 in one year at which point they're redshirt freshmen and now you can go around about the regular track of building them and then try to give them a season as a bench guy and then by sophomore you have them in the 80s but impacts really a long-term growth plan those are the guys that you're going to get pretty good over their career you just need to give them some time of course if they start like an 80 overall you'll get them there but impacts going to be pretty good guys that you can build with the next one's going to be star dev so shelton samson starts at like a 76 a 77 overall after a one season sim he becomes an 84 with having a pretty good year so with a good year in star dev you can get him up but remember he was a red shirt freshman so with that being said he didn't get quite the freshman jump that you can get right he's a redshirt freshman i found that like the redshirt freshman gets a slightly lower jump than a freshman or even a little bit more than that somewhere between sophomore and freshman but they still get a pretty solid jump so shelton as a star dev these are the kind of guys that as freshmen could take pretty large jumps as a star dev star dev guys can go from a 75 i've seen one jelani watkins as i've mentioned a 72 overall up to a 91 in year one so star dev allows you the biggest range of outcomes with all things being equal you've done nothing right you just advanced you just simmed they just like were a rotational guy you could see a 72 go up to like a 79 81 as a star dev now if you have a great season like an offensive player of the year or a heisman type season with a guy who star dev as a freshman you could take him up to the 90s so that's really where this where these dev traits start to work out as a normal dev having a great season with them you're only gonna get a few points and at bare minimum with nothing said you'll get a little bit so the range is like this 
impact the ranges here star dev has the biggest range of outcomes if you do nothing you're still going to grow up to like a high 70s but if you do something you can easily get to the 90s and then there's one more dev trait that is very rare right so star being the third highest like we said madden be like superstar dev but that being said star dev is kind of where you're striving impact if you get a recruit with impact you're happy like it's good it's, it's great like as long as you have impact it's great let's 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 be honest but star devs where you're striving like that's where you want to get the most of your recruits on a star dev any four stars or five stars with star dev will eventually be 90 overall college football beast considering you 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 progress them the right way right so that's where you're really aiming as star dev with the with the last one which we're going to show you next which you can see right here is jeremy jackson elite dev these are super rare elite is not easy to come by but elite dev is incredible like these are the guys with the like instead of a wide range their range just starts in the front and then it goes wider than that right so one season simming an elite kind of guy you're going to get into the mid high 80s just one year off rip now if you play with them often to play the year heisman type you could easily get into the mid 90s with guys like this and again it depends on your overall keep everything i'm saying in in perspective of if i'm talking about a 80 overall freshman with elite dev you could be looking at high 90s mid to high 90s off like right after a season if he's a 71 overall or a 65 overall think about a 65 overall elite probably can go up to 80s that's a huge jump but it sounds lower than what i'm saying so keep in mind it's all based on where you're at but elite devs can easily go up 15 to 20 points i'd say star dev is anywhere between like 4 and like 12 4 and 15 on average obviously i got one with 18 but that's kind of where you're looking and then impacts really depends on the overall i think the lower overall guys get bigger jumps to make them valuable higher overall guys get lower jumps so it's kind of like on a scale of ratios so keep that in mind but elite is insane these are the guys that you're gonna these are the guys are gonna be harold perkins travis hunter those type guys right star dev has the potential to get there but it might take two seasons on average while elite could take one season to really get your guy near top tier level so the way you want to look at all this with player progression is normal dev guys will probably be seniors right they're going to take their whole career to be guys that are pretty valuable star impact guys probably take two seasons to get to a point where you're like okay this is a startable rotational or starting player star dev guys will take a season to get pretty good or really good but off rip, they're pretty, they can still be kind of usable because you can use them because you want to build them. Now, elite guys are guys that after that first training boost, you have a stud. And that's important because it's not Madden, right? In Madden, you just, you build a guy over two, three years, you sign him to a five-year deal, whatever it is, and they're yours for the rest of the franchise. They probably last, right? You have 10 plus years with them. In this game, if they're great, you could lose them right when they're draft eligible. So you don't have long with them. So if it takes you three years to finally get a guy to be a stud and then you lose for the draft, you only had one season of premier play. An elite guy as a freshman if you can build them into the year two going to 90 overall you technically have two more great years of having a top tier player if you don't build guys to their junior year you might just lose them if you build them in senior year it's at the end anyways so that is why dev tricks are so important because you want to get a head start and a jump start on creating studs if you create them late it, it's it's fun but nothing sucks more than finally getting your guy where you want him and then he's like all right i'm leaving for the draft or he's a senior and he's out right that sucks i know like right now i have will campbell He's a stud, but I only have him for one season. He leaves almost instantly every single time. Uh, you could tank them their year, play badly with them, keep them, but that's another that's another another conversation. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope this did a pretty good job of explaining progression for you. If you have any questions, comment down below. Always hit me up on Twitter, DM me over there. I'll answer some more personal questions related to this if you have some more in-depth conversation you need about this. And of course, like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you're new and check out Underdog. I'm out. Peace.